guys. Hello, hello. Happy day, happy day. Guess where we are? <laughs> For my long-term subscribers, you know exactly where we are. So today is the day that the ladies get their little checkup. So they did really fantastic. There is um, a couple of part, uh, gypsy banners in there and they're really cool. One is like a lemon color, very, very pretty. Um, but you're not here to see them. Oh, two butts. Hello babies, you guys turned around. Oh, we don't want to see that. <laughs> but they turned around, very good ladies. Very good. So this is, this is um, mama. Oh, and we got poops going on. Hmm. That's okay. Her butt's doing pretty good. Um, she's not quite ready to give birth. Her butt isn't quite like Jello yet. We're getting close. So we're gonna go in and check in. And um, Dr. Lopresti, who came to the farm to put down Jarvis, is gonna examine these guys. So stay tuned. This is gonna be fun. All right, uh, Dr. Lepresti just came out and she says, who are you gonna do first? I said, uh, I think Miss Prego, <laughs> Yuki, we're gonna do her first. So we're gonna leave um, Gwen on the trailer because it's there's a lot of good stuff going on and well, maybe I could put her in that one. I might be able to put her in that stall over there. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see, let's go. So uh, Dr. Lepresti was just here and there's mama looking very fat, very, very fat today and uh, she said the heart rate sounds good for the mama and that she has a very slight heart murmur but it could go away after she has her baby so um, she's gonna double check her and see where this baby is so um, let's see if I can set this up for you guys that is so neat so, now I hear <laughs> yeah, so you're going to start looking at this. Yeah. So there's her pulse and her neck, and you can see the heart murmur. See how it kind of bounces back a little bit. want to oversleep you but so okay. these are all new if you watch her pulse you can see a murmur oh how cool is that oh 
I'm sorry, honey. That was my fault. Isn't that cool, though? Yeah, that is really cool. That is really neat. I'm, yeah, I'm not, it's not, I've not like looked at that when I've been listening to her words. Uh huh. And you can hear it really well, so. At least on this one. Yeah. Wow. So Dr. Lepresti just tried to examine her and she felt feet, but she couldn't tell if it was back feet or front feet. So um, the consigner said that the ultrasound said that the foal was in the right place, but you know, they can move around. So um, we're just gonna let her nap for a little bit and I'm gonna set you guys up over here. So um, we are getting the ultrasound. So we'll watch that. That'll be interesting. Is that the best way to find them first is ribs? Uh, it gives, that gives me orientation. Okay. Kind of like uh, and dogs with heads. Yeah. You count heads. <laughs> You're being a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> a lot of space to cover. <laughs> a lot of space to cover. <laughs> and if we're like in position, uh -huh. which we're not because we would be definitely Because then you would definitely feel feet. Yeah. yeah. So we're not in position, so that's good. Yeah, you're not going to happen like in the next 48 hours. That's good. Come on. Give me ribs. Well, they do move around, right? You said they move, do move around. Okay, cold. Right there. there. <laughs> we'll find that baby. <laughs> we found him. I just want to know where his head is. Someone just be <laughs> he pushed back against me. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. He's not half as sleep as we thought. Huh? No. Down here. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's. Oh, okay. yeah, you can't get the fur. Oh, is that ribs? Right there. <laughs> now we need a haircut. You're too fluffy down there. Well, we certainly know something's in there. Well, yeah. I just would love to tell you what way it's facing. Well, 
You know it's not coming like tomorrow. In the next hours. Right. And it's definitely somebody home. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> do you see him jump? Hold on. Do that. <laughs> That's the the full? Uh huh. Let's see if I. Usually, if you punch them, they'll. Punch if you back. punch them, they punch back. Uh huh. I said no. No. Yeah, maybe a little bugger. <laughs> looks like a high line. Intestine. Intestine. Okay. So come on. Where there's intestine, the next thing should be ribs. Somewhere. <laughs> Maybe he's like a human baby, moves away from it. Probably. I know my daughter did. Every time we got the ultrasound, she was like, no. And she'd roll the other way. Is that a spine? A spine or ribs. Yep, I see it. Yep. There. Yep. Oh, booger. I'd love to tell you. Let me see your heart. Spine. Yep. And then the Good. shadow of the ribs underneath it. Oh, oh. I think it's just the shadow off the spine. Do you want me to tilt this down so you can see better? Uh, yeah, if you tilt it, you can see it a bit. That's a good strong heart. <laughs> <laughs>
Gonna have to be a little bit more careful with that. Sorry, baby. Hi, Friday. I know, I'm touching your butt. Yep, we're home. <laughs> this Friday. Hi, baby. Yep. You're good. You're crooked! Much better.
So there you have it. <laughs> it is the next day. If you haven't quite figured it out, it's a beautiful day. Um, <laughs> Gru is crying. Um, so yeah, I was going to introduce them to her. Hi. Hello. <laughs> to uh, Friday. And uh, she's like, no, 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 no. I, I want to be with uh, my sister. So today we put them nose to nose um, go using the fence over here. Let's see if I take you guys with me. Using that fence that's dividing them. So um, we let them go nose to nose and it's really quite funny. She didn't want anything to do with him. Well, they said hi and then she went, see you later. <laughs> I'll show you. Come on, say hello. Come on. That's a boy. Yeah, you did get zapped, didn't you? That's a good boy. You wanna come over and say hi to the ladies? Come on, come and say hi to the ladies. Come on and meet them. Come on, come and say hello. Hey Gwen, I have somebody to meet you. Hi, baby girl. Friday just got told off. <laughs> so <laughs> she doesn't seem to mind Friday, which is good. Um, we're going to keep him in the side pasture so they can be kind of close with each other. Um, and then I'll put him back over here on the other side at night um, because I don't want any accidents over the fence in the middle of the night because we can't have that. That's not something I want to wake up to in the morning is have a surprise and all three of them are together and who knows what happened overnight and next thing you know somebody's going to get kicked and the baby's going to, it's going to be a mess. So um, during the day when I can keep a good eye on them, uh, I want to make sure that they can go nose to nose and then afterwards we'll put him up, make sure it's nice and safe. And then eventually we're going to take these two, her, uh, Gwen and Friday, for a walk and see how they do together and um, then will rotate Gwen in and out between Friday and so forth. So when the baby comes, she and mama and baby can have this paddock to themselves um, to bond and not have to worry about um, having Gwen around. So that's the plan. That's the plan. If you guys have a better idea, please let me know. But I think that's the safest way to do this. And because um, we don't have a baby pasture, so to speak. But we're gonna be doing some work to the fence. We gotta add a, a fourth line to the fence. So we're gonna be doing that very shortly. Um, expected date is anywhere between two and three and a half weeks. So we might have an Easter baby. How cool would that be? Looks like Gwen's gonna have a lay down. Is she gonna roll? I don't think she's gonna roll. Eeyore's rolling. <laughs> Eeyore decided to roll. No, nope. I guess she changed her mind. But anyway, we might have an Easter baby. So um, I'm supposed to work over at the vineyard on Easter Saturday. I might, 
Might not. We'll see. I'm going to call it by ear. We might not be able to do that. I might want to stay here if she hasn't had the baby by then. Um, we're going to be really watching her really good, making sure that, um, cause she's already bagged up a little bit and that's normal for right now. Um, but we're going to watch her to watch her start waxing. Um, and then, um, when she starts waxing, then we watch for that tail head to get squishy and a loose tail and other little feminine keys to show that she's going to have her baby. And then we'll have babies within 24 hours. So we, we should keep you guys well informed and I have all intents to go live when the process starts. So we'll just keep you informed as the days progress and um, watch for the baby to make its debut. So it'll be interesting. Find out what its name is. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for always smashing that little bell button and the like button and sharing. We really appreciate it. YouTube really appreciates it. We get all sorts of royalties. Well, not all sorts, but we do get royalties from you watching the videos. So I appreciate it because it helps these guys out always. So we'll see you next time. Summerfield Farm and the big guys or the little ones, medium-sized ones, <laughs> draft horses.